So guys, in this next news story, a woman who was nearly killed when her ex-boyfriend throttled her and put a plastic bag over her head has revealed her painful battle to regain a normal life. James Riley is 28 was jailed for 16 years on Friday for attempted murder after what a judge told him was a brutal and determined two minutes attempt on an academic Ellie Moxham's life. The former Lancashire police officer flew into a jealous rage on November the 10th, 2022, leaving Ms. Moxon, who was then aged 24, with a long-lasting brain injury from oxygen deprivation. Ms. Moxon, in a victim impact statement, shared how Riley's coercive behaviour and the traumatic assault left her struggling with anxiety, night terrors, headaches, problems trusting others and more. She was a PhD student and said that the past year has been a nightmare and she now lives in constant fear of another attack. However, she noted that despite the physical and emotional turmoil she battles as a result of the terrible assault, she has real closure now that Riley has been jailed. Riley launched his attack on Ms. Moxham in 2022 after she was persuaded to go to a concert in Manchester with the former couple having had booked some earlier and stayed at the Premier Inn Hotel. Riley was hoping to rekindle their relationship which began when they were both undergraduate students at Lancaster University years earlier but attacked Mick Moxham with murderous intent after she texted her new partner. She was initially put into an induced coma and spent a day in intensive care and the assault followed a history of jealousy, abuse and coercive behaviour. So she appeared tearful after addressing the court when she said, the task of putting into words how terrible that night has impacted my life seems impossible. The brain injury had left her with cognitive fatigue, which affects her daily and having to take three naps a day, falling behind with a doctor and having difficulty with her memory. She told the court, I've had to seek medical help to deal with anxiety in the process, what has happened as it starts to impact my daily life since the assault. I cannot focus on my work for long. I can't remember things that previously would have been able to recall easily and I frequently get headaches that sometimes can only be helped by taking three naps a day and I get anxious. So CCTV footage revealed Riley's movements after the incident, highlighting his attention to evade capture by making two £250 cash transactions from different ATMs and getting rid of his mobile phone to ensure he could not be tracked. After fleeing the Premier Inn, Riley spent 11 minutes on the phone to his parents telling them, I've killed Ellie before eventually calling an ambulance, then fleeing the scene to save his own skin. Alex Leach, the prosecutor, said Riley flew into a rage after Ms. Moxham exchanged text messages with a new partner. The sentencing judge Patrick Phil Casey said, As a result of becoming consumed by your uncontrollable anger and a jealous rage, you attacked her with murderous intent. Following a wide ranging search using a number of resources, including specialist operations across three forces in the northwest, Riley was located and arrested in the early hours of the morning in West Yorkshire. Lancashire Police immediately suspended Riley and launched an internal investigation into his conduct alongside the criminal inquiries by Greater Manchester Police. This led to an accelerated misconduct hearing where he was dismissed from the force without notice and he has also been added to the College of Policing barred list. Detective Sergeant Heidi Cullum from Greater Manchester Police and Major Incident Team said firstly, I would like to commend the bravery of the victim who has throughout the case shown immense strength to tell her story. What happened to her on that night by someone she should have been able to trust is unthinkable. We hope now she can move on with the rest of her life in the knowledge that he cannot commit this act of violence to anyone else whilst behind bars. The support and access Greater Manchester Police Detectives received from the counterparts in Lancashire West Yorkshire was key to ensure that they conducted a prompt and effective investigation. And Detective Superintendent Zoe Mainly, the head of the professional standards from Lancashire Police, added, James Riley's behaviour clearly fell far short of what we demand from our officers and staff, both on and off duty. Most of our staff are honest, hard-working people who just want to serve their communities, but when our employees fall below the standards and the public rightly expect and erode the trust we depend upon to police effectively and with legitimacy, we will always act. Lancashire Constabulary is committed to tackling all forms of domestic abuse, safeguarding victims and holding perpetrators of domestic abuse to account for their behaviour and crimes. We will not tolerate domestic abuse offending by any of our officers or staff and will hold them to account both criminally and through our internal misconduct process. And in a new story coming from Lancashire Ways, 
an intelligence university student, has been jailed for 45 months after being caught selling Class A drugs on two separate occasions. Alan Ruddock, who's 20, was on bail for drug dealing in Leeds when he was spotted by officers in an alleyway in Burnley with a group of suspected drug users on January the 27th, 2023. Officers chased after Ruddock, who threw away the drugs and a mobile phone as he fled. The prosecutor, Paul Brookwell, told Preston Crown Court a Nokia mobile phone had dealing messages saying, you, it's the best of both, offering drugs for sale at £5, £10 and £15. They've recovered a wrap of heroin and five wraps of crack at the scene, along with £306 in cash. The court heard that at the time of the offence, Ruddock from Leeds was on bail after being caught in possession of 18 wraps of heroin and 14 wraps of crack when he was arrested on suspicion of being involved in a large-scale disturbance involving youths in Chapel Fields in Leeds on June the 21st, 2021. He was subject to a community order for possession of a machete in respect of that incident. The defence solicitor for him said, listen to the circumstances of these offences and Alan Ruddock's previous convictions don't make for the best of listening. However, speaking to him, I find he is not the usual type of person that falls to be sentenced in these sorts of offences. He was 18 at the time of the first offences and was a heavy cannabis user at the time. As a result of his exposure to cannabis and people who sold it, he fell in with the wrong crowd and as a result of his cannabis use, incurred a debt that he wasn't able to pay. This is what led to his first involvement in the supply of Class A drugs in 2021. He is a 20 year old now, but unfortunately became involved in the supply of Class A drugs for the second time, this time due to a debt he incurred as a result of the drugs being taken from him on the first occasion. Alan Ruddock is a switched on bright young man who made one poor choice followed by several more poor choices which has led him here today. Had it not been for this, he would be a young man with a bright future ahead of him. He was one year into a three-year degree at Leeds Beckett University. He wanted to work in marketing and set up his own business. He said Ruddock has spent his time on remanding full-time education and wants to do everything possible to give himself the best opportunities in life. He became a father and was looking for a home for his young family at the time of his arrest and he became involved due to his own naivety running up a cannabis debt. So Ruddock pleaded guilty to two counts of possession with intent to supply Class A in respect of the Leeds offences and two counts of being concerned in the supply of Class A relating to the offences over in Lancashire and Burnley. This is recorder Andrew Nuttall said, you're an intelligent person. In one sense that makes it worse. You should know better. But I take into consideration the fact that you are young at the time of the offence in Leeds you are considerably younger than you are now. But be under no illusion, drugs are a scourge of our times. They cause untold misery to people and death and the courts will do whatever they can to assist in trying to desist and deter people from committing these offences. So he sentenced Ruddock to 45 months for each of the four offences he was sentenced for but said the sentences would run concurrently and he ordered the drugs, cash and mobile phones to be forfeited. So guys, these are a number of stories coming from the streets of the UK. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.